Now, can you talk about the importance of having such a strong game in the last game of the season going into the playoffs, triple bubble? Um, I think it just builds confidence. Um, it just shows what I can do. And uh, for me, definitely a confidence builder and just keep trying to build up going into the playoffs. And the Markel, did you realize he made some from the, from the fans here tonight? Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, that's the support I've been getting all year, going through what I've been through. Um, they've been there like that the whole year, uh, just being there for me, supporting me. Um, Boosting my confidence, just being there, that's why I love him. What does it mean to be the youngest player in the um, It's an honor, really. Uh, I mean, I think it's, it just shows the, the work I put in in the gym, and um, I thank my teammates for it, too. Without them, I couldn't do it. So, Markel, you guys are going to be matched up with the Miami in the first round. Uh, what do you think you guys match up well with them? Uh, I think we match up well with them. I mean, uh, we're going to go out there and play our game. Of course, we got to prepare. Um, but. Uh, we just got to make sure we do what we do, play our game, and I think we'll be fine. Did you realize that you were getting a triple-double? Like how, how soon did you know that you were getting um, Not really toward, until towards the end. I mean, I was just being aggressive. Uh, in the first half, I kind of felt the, felt the vibe. I was getting my teammates open, and they were scoring a lot, and the rebounds were coming. And then towards the end, the second half, I kind of I kind of realized I had a chance, so that's when I went for it. What's this mean for you guys uh, to be the third seed? I talked about that focus that you guys have to have to try and get that down and, and you're able to do that. What's it mean to be third seed at the conference? Uh, that's really big. Uh, that's something coaches have been preaching um, all along since we had a chance to do it, to, to keep it. Um, we really wanted to get that third seed and get the home court advantage, and we, we did both of them. So now that we did that, we got to get prepared for the playoffs and um, execute there and hopefully get the win. Have you surprised yourself having missing 68 games and ending the regular season with a triple double? That's a uh, you surprised yourself? Not, not really. I mean, I always believed in myself. I always knew what I was capable of. It was just a matter out there, going out there, enjoying myself, having fun, and, and playing confident. Mark, Mark Hill, how, how did your teammates kind of celebrate with you? Oh man, they killed me. They poured strawberry milk, chocolate milk, water. They, they drowned me with everything, but uh, it's all love and appreciation. Mark Hill, in your opinion, how many people in this organization do you think deserve to be in consideration for an end of the year award, whether it be coach for coach of the year or Ben for rookie of the year, call for defensive player? Man, it's, it's, it's a lot. We got a lot of great players in here. We got a great coach. I mean, <laughs> I say everybody, really. I mean, I think we all put in a lot of work. Uh, we, we respect everybody else, but I think this team has done a lot over this year. Can you just talk a little bit more about the job Coach has done this year leading you guys? I mean, he's done a great job of just boosting our confidence, just sticking with us and, and helping us develop our, our, our games and, and just being there and being able to talk with him and be on the same page is, is really helped, I think, me, myself, and a, and a lot of us. Markel, this will obviously be your first foray into the playoffs, obviously. So where is your mindset as, as you kind of head into this big-time playoff run? Um, just go out there and be myself, really. Uh, I don't want to hurt the team. I want to go out there and help the team in any way I can. Go out there and put my life on the line. Like just every single game, every time I'm on the court, just go out there and play as hard as I can. And I'll live with the results. As long as I know uh, I went out there and put a, forth a, a good effort, I'll, I'll be fine. Do you talk to uh, JJ or, or Ursan or Marco, or these guys who have been in the playoffs, uh, and talk to them about what the playoffs are like? Or? Definitely. Uh, I try to get a lot, as much advice as I can. I mean, once we get there, it's a lot of mental. You play the same team. And you got to figure out how to stop plays. So, I mean, we talk a lot. And they just want me to stay focused and keep working. So. Who got you with the strawberry? Uh, I don't even know. I'm going to find out, though. I'm going to get them back <laughs> for sure.